so um, I am a lover of hip hop, um, and one of my favorite rappers is the rapper Most Def. Um, some of you might, know. yeah. So, <laughs> um, yeah. So he um, is really one of the most important rappers to come out of the conscious hip hop movement. Um, recently, he announced that he was quitting music and that he was going to change his name from Most Def to Yasin Bey and then move to South Africa and just all those things. And I got really emotional about it, <laughs> so I wrote a poem. And this is for my Steph. <laughs> An article spat out the headline, Most Steph announces retirement from music. And I wonder how long the music dwelling between your bones and flesh wilted before your body became a grave site for the once rapper in you. What heaviness has the hollowness left? Does it almost have you crawling back into the studio some days? I picture your hands and mouth Motionless as a flat-lined heart monitor, searching for other things to do that make it feel alive or maybe to the extremity of a fan's denial. For this kind of dead, the word eulogy sounds like a syllable of knives in the mouth, so I've replaced the word with nostalgia. The first time I listened to your music, the flow on Boogeyman draped my ears like velvet curtains, soft in the way a man can seduce with words, heavy in the way a man can speak of this black skin and the monster that shadows it. It's the first time I listened to mathematics. The scratch samples on the track soothe the itch of a young girl daring to be taken in by hip hop. I rehearsed the lyrics like a fateful hype man. An article spat out the headline, the artist formerly known as Mostef. In the interview, you state that your name change from Mostef to Yasin Bey was out of fear that you were treated as a product and not a person. And I wonder, does this mean that the audience plays a part in the death of the artist? Does this mean that somehow we listen to your records in the wrong way when you rapped about pains, prisons and poverty? Was I wrong for just bopping my head at your slick crimes but not picking up a placard to protest? How typical of the congregation to be the listener of the good word but not the doer of it. Instead, we label the rapper as merely conscious. I imagine that for an artist whose intention was to spawn a revolution, being ranked as one of the best lyricists of all time was simply a stretched breath of empty praise you refused to swirl your ego over. An article spat out the headline, Most Def has moved to South Africa. And I wonder, was this move to find some new inspiration? Or was it more about finding the location of your ancestors' womb? Fact, the artist is most times as lost as the world they are trying to save. My record player sighs, knowing that your voice is now a premature ghost. When I play your records, I rest them on loop, because silence would sound too similar to resting in peace. You've requested to no longer be referred to as most deaf, but by Yasin Bey. But if it's only for one more word, one more track, one more album, I will rename you Lazarus, pull you out of your casket and tell you that this hip hop is a breath that cannot die. Thank you.